In this video, we're going to look at finding the midpoint of a line segment. We can use the formula that the midpoint is x1 plus x2 divided by 2, comma, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. All this is telling me to do is add the x coordinates together and divide by 2, and add the y coordinates together and divide by 2. Or, if you like, it's the average of the x's and the average of the y's. So let's look at this in action. What I'm going to do is take two points. If we have this point just here, and we'll call this A, A has the coordinates 3, 2. Let's take this point right here, and we've got B, and B has the coordinates 5, 4. If we consider now finding the midpoint, clearly that's at the point 4, 3. We can see this as we've got a visual representation and with nice integer values, we can see that it's going to land up perfectly on the middle just here and that will give us integer values as well. So we can see that the coordinates are going to be 4, 3. We won't always have that luxury and that's why we use a formula. A few different ways that you can think about this. If I look now from 3 to 5, the distance is 2. So if I want the midpoint, I'm just going to add 1 to the 3. And that will take me to here. From 2 to 4, that's a distance of 2. So if I want to find the midpoint, all I need to do again is add 1 just here. So if you want to look at it graphically, this is what it would look like. Alternatively, we can just say now that the midpoint is going to be 3 plus 5 divided by 2. And then we're going to have 2 plus 4 divided by 2. So if you want, you can think of this as x1 and this one now as x2. And this one just here as y1 and y2. I generally don't um, get too concerned about this. Simply put the numbers in. So that's going to give me 8 over 2. And then we can have 6 over 2, which of course, as expected, we get the 4 Three, and that gives us the midpoint. So let's look at using the midpoint formula with some examples now where we've got two sets of coordinates. We're asked to find the midpoint of the following pairs of coordinates. So in part A we've got 2, 1 and then we've got uh, sorry, uh, 2, 1 and 6, 9. So let's write this in the midpoint. We're going to have 2 plus 6, that is the x coordinates, divided by 2. 1 plus 9, that's the y coordinates, divided by 2. So we're going to get on here 8 divided by 2, and then we're going to get on here now 10 divided by 2. So that's going to give us 4, 5, and that is the midpoint. The workings you need to show will depend on the exam that you're doing. I would suggest now that this line is perfectly fine, and then this is. This will be generally a two-mark question, one mark for that and then one mark for that. I don't necessarily think you would need that part. Okay, B, let's look at the midpoint. We're going to have 4 plus 2 divided by 2. 7 plus 5 divided by 2. That's going to give me now 6 over 2, which is 3. 12 over 2, which is 6. So the midpoint will be 3, 6. Again, if you want to think of that in a geometric way or graphical way, you're going down by 2, so if you're going halfway, you only need to go down by 1, and that will take you to 3. You're going down by 2, so you only need to go down by 1, which will take you to 6. This one just here, we've got negative 1 plus 2 divided by 2. We've got 5 plus negative 3 divided by 2. That's going to give me 1 half, and then we're going to have 1. So that is the midpoint now, of the points, negative 1, 5, and 2, negative 3. Okay, let's look at the, the next one. Let's just go on. Okay, with this one, I've got 0 0.5 and 3, and then a quarter and negative 1 third. I'm just going to write this as a half. So what we can say then is the midpoint is going to be 1 half plus 1 quarter divided by 2. Then we're going to have 3 plus negative one third divided by two. So that's going to give me now three quarters. Three quarters divided by two will give me three eighths. 
That's going to give me 9 thirds. 9 thirds subtract 1 third is 8 thirds. 8 thirds divided by 2 will give me 4 thirds. So that now is the midpoint. You can see quite clearly it's easier to use the midpoint formula for an example like this than trying to do it graphically. Okay, let's look at another question. We're told the midpoint of the points 12, 7 and p, 3 is 5, q. We need to find the values of p and q. So what we've got here is a scenario, and I'll just go ahead and draw this up. Now, it might not be wholly accurate, but it should give you some idea of what's happening. So if we put the line on, let's go ahead and put the line just here. So let's find a line, that one will do. Okay, so what we've got then are the points 12 comma seven and P comma three. So if I put P comma three here, so P comma three, then we're gonna have a midpoint and then we're gonna have the end point just here. And the end point is gonna be 12 comma seven. So that's the end and then we've got now the midpoint uh, is five comma Q. Now you can work this out in terms of just considering. Now, if you think three and seven, we can see from here that Q is gonna be equal now on here to five. Um, but again, that's, that's like with this one, we can see that this is going to be on here. We're gonna drop down from here by seven. So we drop down by seven again and end up with negative two. But what you could do is consider now the X coordinates. So using the midpoint, what we could say is that P plus 12 divided by 2 will give us 5. So this one plus this one divided by 2 gives us that. So we can see that P plus 12 is going to equal 10 and P is going to be equal to negative 2. With the next one, what we can say is that 3 plus 7, so this is for the, the Y's, 3 plus 7 divided by 2 is going to be equal to Q and we can see on here that 10 divided by 2 Q is going to be equal to 5. So all we've done is either seen it visually like so and work backwards but if it was in an exam I'd simply use a formula for the midpoint. So that's finding the midpoint of a line segment or a problem involving it. We simply add the x coordinates and divide by 2, add the y coordinates and divide by 2.